Okay, so this is going to be my um, presentation on the second interactive presentation for the iodine clock reaction. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. Okay, let me go back to the beginning. Oh. So can go full screen. Okay. So, uh, sorry about that. Um, so for my iodine clock reaction, uh, this is the presentation for that. So the materials that I needed for this uh, interactive presentation was for solution A, um, I use four 500 milligram uh, vitamin C pills. Six, I use uh, 60 milliliters of the 2% iodine because that's the only iodine I can find. Um, and also distilled water. For solution B, it was uh, 0.4 grams of cornstarch, uh, more estimate because in the video it wasn't very exact. Um, hydrogen peroxide and distilled water. Okay, so this is a creation in the first video of solution of the solution. Okay, this is gonna be my uh, uh, video for the. Our solution, solution A. Um, I have my uh, crushed up vitamin C right here. I had to use 500 milligrams, so I got a crushed four uh, pills to make this powder right here. So I'm going to pour it into my beaker or measuring cup. Now I need 60 milliliters of distilled water. I've got that right here. Let me measure this up. my 60 milliliters of water. I'll go ahead and mix the solution. So after doing this for about 30 seconds or so, I'm now going to um, filter this out. And yeah. Oops, I don't want to play that again. But yeah, so that is the, the creation process of me putting all of the uh, pieces together for that first solution, solution A. So this is, will be for solution B right here. Now on to solution B. I have my cornstarch right here, my distilled water, and my hydrogen peroxide. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my cornstarch. Uh, 0. 0.4 grams of that, or just about.
Now that I got that, I'm going to go ahead and pour in my 350 milliliters of distilled water. Now I'm going to go ahead and stir my solution together. The next video, I'll be showing you what it looks like after it is all heated and boiled. Okay, now on, on to solution. Okay, so that was uh, the creation of the second solution. Um, so... Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the solution after it was already uh, heated. And then I'll kind of go into this next slide right here. I wasn't able to put it onto the presentation because it was taking too long. So I'm just going to open it on here. Okay. Okay. Now this is solution B after I've already put it in the microwave and try to use coffee filters to filter out some more of the starch that was not able to um, dissolve. Um, okay. My next step would be to add the hydrogen peroxide. So right now we're looking at still a little, little bit over around 350 um, milliliters. Um, so now I'll be filling up with a 3% hydrogen peroxide up to, uh, we're going to put in 150 milliliters in here. Sorry about that. Um, so now I'll be filling up with a 3% hydrogen peroxide up to, um, uh, we're going to put in 150 milliliters in here. So yeah. Okay. This is just me filling in, uh, filling up the hydrogen peroxide. Okay. It took a while. I kind of fast forward it a little bit. We'll go back to the screen. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh play the video for. This that's going to explain this next slide a little bit, um, and we'll kind of go from there. And okay, now we are going to be moving on back to solution A. Um, this is also after I had already filtered out some of the vitamin the vitamin C that was in there. So the rest that didn't dissolve, I then poured into a coffee uh, filter as well. And this is the filter process. So this is what it looks like after. Um, the next step would be to put in the iodine. I have 2% iodine, so I would have to put in 60 milliliters. So I have a, a 
tablespoon measurement, that's 15. So I'm just putting in uh, four of those in here. Kind of struggling to open it, as you can see. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the explanation for what we just saw in that video. So adding the iodine to solution A, when the iodine is added to the solution, it goes from being a very dark brown as you saw in the video to then being colorless, that that initial uh color that we saw. Um this is a process of going from this process of going from brown color to colorless is due to the iodine reacting with the vitamin C, making that vi the iodine into iodide, which is colorless. So essentially, it went from being an I2, which is the iodine, to then becoming I-, minus, which would be the iodide. And the I2 is has color, the iodide, or the iodide uh, does not, it's a colorless. So, yeah. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and play this um, final video where I'm going to be combining both solutions together. So we'll go over that next. Okay, now I do have solution A and solution B completed. So now I'll be mixing the two, putting an even amount into this cup. I have my stopwatch timer right here, as you can see. We'll see how long this takes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour solution A in first. I will go ahead and pour it in solution B. I'll go ahead and my phone. Okay, so I then shut the timer. Um, I started up, try to make the process go a little bit faster. It didn't end up taking quite a bit of time. Um, as you see, I'm still just waiting there. So it's funny. As soon as I get out of the camera, it then wants to change. So you'll kind of see that in the video right here. Oh, over here, starting with some more. I thought I had done it wrong because it was taking so long. And then it oh. and then it changed. There we go. <laughs> okay. So now I will go ahead into the explanation for what kind of just what we just saw in that video. Okay. So adding solution A and B together. In solution A, we have the vitamin C and the I minus ions. In solution B, we have hydrogen peroxide and starch. When they are mixed together, they are two reactions that occur. The hydrogen peroxide wants to oxidize the I minus back to a colored solution, I2, but the azorbic acid wants to bring it back from I2 to I minus. The vitamin C is finally consumed due to the hydrogen peroxide. Uh, the 
change of color tells us that the solution is at a point where the concentration of the iodine and tri i triiodide ions are sufficient to react with the starch which is the indicator which causes the color to change so essentially there's a battle between the two uh solutions and finally uh pretty much the starch kind of takes over and that's what makes that uh instant color change but yeah um so there's my presentation on um the iodide reaction um or clock reaction uh thank you guys for watching